All right, folks. My name is Steve. I'm a bartender. Been doing this for over 20 years. Catering, weddings, big banquets, events, private parties, and such. I actually went to bartending school. Got a little degree in mixology. So what I'm here to show you guys is the basic bar setup. You don't necessarily have to have everything here at your house, but this is what I have when I'm bartending. Either where, where they have me set up at what station or you have it on the rack or the well or whatever you want to call it. So starting out, you know, you're going to have your various liquors. So we don't actually have real liquor in here because I don't feel like having $500 worth of booze in the house because that's too much of a temptation to drink, right? So we're using empty wine bottles. So this is gin. Gin is a white liquor, right? Because uh, they don't have colored gin. Rum. Rum is another white one. You could get, um, you know, you can get dark rum. But in this case, we have light rum. And then we have uh, tequila. Again, you can get dark tequila, but in this case, it's light tequila. Um, then you've got vodka. <clears throat> and you've got, here we have, this can either be whiskey or it can be scotch. You know, with scotch whiskey, right? So scotch, an example of scotch would be like Dewar's or Jameson or maybe House of Stewart, something like that. And then whiskey would be like Canadian Mist, um, Seagram 7, VO, stuff like that, you know. And then you have your bourbon. Bourbon is like Jack Daniels and um, you know Jim Beam type of things. So those are your basic uh, basic liquors, your white liquors, and then you have your dark liquors. And then over here we have some mixers. Now over here what we have is we have um, this is going to be our simple syrup. So we're going to be using this to um, as sugar, basically sugar water is what it is. Used to make some old fashions and such. This one is, is our. Augustura bitters. I'm going to go ahead and be putting that in Manhattans and Old Fashions. And then we have our Triple Sec. Triple Sec, a nice famous orange flavor. I use those in Cosmos as well as, um, as well as the margaritas. And then over here we have your sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth is going to be um, what you're going to be using to make Manhattans. And then you have your dry vermouth. And dry vermouth is what you're going to be using to make your martinis. And then we have Campari. Campari is the liquor that you're going to be using to make Negronis along with um, some gin and some sweet vermouth. And in here, what I have, what I had, but what you should have is the sweet and sour mix. Because the sweet and sour mix, you can take this along with gin and you make a Tom Collins. You can take the sweet and sour mix along with whiskey and make a whiskey sour. You can take the sweet and sour mix along with some lime juice, which I don't happen to have at this table right this second, but you can take lime juice and the sweet and sour mix in a triple sec and you make yourself a margarita as well. And then, <clears throat> of course, we have our condiments. We have some cherries here and you can also have oranges and lemons and limes and things like that. And then you go to glasses. This is a Cosmo glass. So you go ahead and put your Cosmos in here. You can also put the martinis in here, obviously. Cosmos, martinis. Um, sometimes you could you could put a Manhattan. You could even maybe even put an old fashioned here. You know, it depends on the, on the uh, the high endness of the bar where you're working at. But for me, for the sake of the purposes of the videos that we'll be making for this channel, we're going to be using this here, and this will be for Cosmopolitans and for martinis. And then you have your shaker here. This is a shaker and a pour. This particular shaker here, I got at BarProducts.com. You go ahead and you put your ice in here. And you put your cap on, and then you have your little top. And this, I don't know if you can see in there, guys, but it's got built-in holes for a strainer. So you wind up shaking your drink or mixing it up, and all you have to do is pull this off. <clears throat> and then you just pour it in there. Like I said, it's got that built-in strainer, so that's uh, pretty cool. And you can basically make, you can probably make about as many as, <clears throat> maybe make as many, about three drinks with that one. It's not a super big shaker. We do have some other ones over here. We have the... Um, you know, these other here, which actually have the whiskey sours and the Manhattans and margaritas and have the mixes where it shows you on here. And, you know, a lot of times you'll see people at the bar, right? They'll take the two. So they'll put, well, there's some money now. I'm going to send some tips in there, people. So it'll take the two like this, right? And then it'll shake it up and then it'll pour it. So that's how you can use the two different ones for that. And what else we have? This we can use this as a beer glass. We can go to glasses again. This is to be a beer glass here. We can use this as for a Collins glass, tall Collins glass, you know, whiskey sours. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Tom Collins would go in here. You can put margaritas in this glass, or you can put margaritas in this glass. It just depends on, on the venue and where you're at and what kind of glasses they have. 
Now this is traditionally, obviously this is a rocks glass. This is where you're gonna go ahead and put sh your short drinks because in, in a Collins glass, you know, you can put Roman Cokes, you can put Cuba Libras, you can put Cape Cods, you can put things of that nature. And with a lot of ice, you don't put so much ice, you put them here. These are also, this is also good if you're making somebody like a, a maker's, maker's mark on the rocks or if they want it neat enough, if you want it neat, Neat means there's nothing. It's just basically like a shot. There's nothing there. Um, they find on the rocks. So if this was on the rocks, you put some ice cubes in here and then go ahead and you pour your whiskey. And we'll show you guys how to do a pour as well. And then some people use jiggers. I don't use jiggers. I don't have time for that. Um, when I got 50 people waiting for me, I got to go ahead and get those drinks out there. We got a little plastic ice scoop here. We got another glass as well. So now we're going to go to, I think there's little stirs you can put in that thing as well. So we're going to go to pouring the booze. Yeah. So we're going to say this is whiskey. That's what I have it listed as whiskey or scotch. And I did put a little bit of coloring in here. So what you want to do is when you have speed pour, so you guys can see this speed pour, or see what it looks like right here. So basically they're calibrated as such that if you pour it correctly, um, it'll do a quarter of an ounce per count. So let's say you do a four count. So you'd go one, two, three, four. And that was a little bit of a, a rickety side, but then let's see, this one here says one, it says one ounce. So let's see how close we came to one ounce. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's absolutely 100% perfect. That was one ounce right there, you see? So it's basically, you do a four count, you've got one ounce. You do a five count, you've got an ounce and a quarter. You do a six count, you've got an ounce and a half. You do an eight count, you've got two ounces, right? So yeah, I just demonstrated to you guys that I just did a four count and it came out to exactly one ounce. So I really don't need jiggers. And I think only inexperienced people need jiggers or maybe people who are at some places where they have some really weird strict corporate stuff will tell you you have to have a jigger for an accurate pour. But again, if you know what you're doing, you don't need a jigger for an accurate pour because I just demonstrated that, right? So that's kind of the basic bar set of people that you have. So when you go to order drinks, you have your white wine, you have your white liquors, you have your dark liquors, you have your, all your various mixers. I gotta show you guys the bitters and everything. Now my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to start making some drinks. So thanks for watching and uh, bon appetit.